these pieces are reminders that it wasn't that long ago when intolerance ruled the day. Provost Brass got a call from a donor at Tech who sat next to one of the first three black students to go there in 1961, and he wanted that story told. Can you imagine this in 1961, when campuses across the South were on fire, literally, from issues of racial integration? That was a period where racism uh, and discrimination was flagrant, uh, and frankly, almost hard for us in this day and age to really accept. I think a lot of people know about Tech being the first public Georgia college to integrate. And President Harrison talked to the students about what it really meant and that it went fairly smoothly. The other part of the lesson that I hope doesn't escape people is the reality that these three young men must have lived through very difficult times. Despite the fact that our intention was to integrate peacefully, Nobody is naive enough to think that this was an easy time for them. They're all looking off and you, and you get the sense of that they're looking at something and you don't know if it's good or bad. For me, that, that kind of that tells a little bit of what they went through on campus there, that they had this awareness, very strong awareness about what was going on around them. These were three individuals who, though not members that were readily accepted on the community, were very proud to be at Georgia Tech because even then they were wearing that Georgia Tech insignia. It behooves us to remember that. It takes courage. Ronald Yancey started the semester after the three pioneers, but he was the first to graduate. So it didn't seem fair to not include him as a part of the story. He looked at the library tower stairs and then decided on, on cloth and that to put him down on the first where uh, everyone could see him even we had wheelchair access there and then to have a plaque behind him so there'll be that continuity that, that develops from all four of them. What I hope is that as the community interacts with these pieces either walking or sitting next to them that that interaction uh, will become natural and that is a, a strong messaging of, of tolerance, of integration, uh, of the fact that, that we're all equal. The process of, of creating these and designing them, it, it, it takes everything I have. This is an important statement that we're making to the campus that we as an institution are on an evolutionary path for being an inclusive kind of community. They're reminders of how far we have come they're also reminders that we still have ways to go.